Greetings, Throthgar here. And guess what? It's the five year anniversary of the first time Throthgar appeared on YouTube almost to the day. I'm gonna look back and react to my first videos and see if they sucked. Which they probably did. Once upon a time in the ancient lands of Skyrim, there existed the great Who's this pretentious warrior, cocksucker? Throthgar, son of Bothbar, descendant of Edgar, brother in law of Einar, second cousin of Falkmar. Riverwood and its reverent beauty. His quest to eradicate the dragons that plague the lands of Skyrim. I remember riding in there. Son of Mothbar had done before him. For the first time. Citizens of Riverwood, Hrothgar's here, son of Bothbar. <laughs> oh, beast. They couldn't believe that. You a true Dragonborn hero existed. You've done. What? Oh. What does that mean? I don't even that know guy that. hated me before he even gave me a chance. Soldier, I've heard you've been having trouble with dragons. Trouble? For a hefty but logically priced 200 gold pieces, I'll slay the beast for you people. What a bargain, the Poner Dragon. Like a traveler. Someone that is the first meeting of Sven. Yeah, I've seen we bonded as brothers beneath the skin. Hey, back off! Do you know who I am? I'm Hrothgar, son of Bothbar. Descendant of Edgar, brother in law of Einar, second cousin of Falkmar. The incredible lineage. Ward of honor. And I will cripple any dragon that comes near. What's that shadow? Oh, it's just a bird. Well, I was new to Skyrim at this point and realized that the uh, dragons would attack at any random moment. And that they might even be a myth. Son of Bothbar, descendant of Edgar, brother in law of Einar, second cousin of Falkmar, continued in his search for the elusive dragon. Who is this pretentious scum sucker punk talking over my video? I'm Hrothgar, son of Hrothgar. He journeyed day and night, never sleeping, moving from town to town. Flashbacks of the early days of Skyrim, when it was a world of wonder, before we realized it was tedious and every dungeon was the same. What is it? And in a way, every village was the same, too. You just went in there and you had the same kind of shops and the same quests. But here I was inquisitive. The woman listened as Throthgar, son of Bothvar, laid out his courageous and heroic tales of How am I talking without moving my mouth? And I got the wrong helmet there before I found the proper Dragonborn helmet. It was custom built for Throthgar. gold coins, but no one had seen a dragon. Yeah? Some felt that the presence of a Dragonborn hero called forth the dragons. the town in case a dragon Maybe that's true. ...upon it during the night. It was here the Throthgar, son of Bothfar, the simple days before the Dragonborn mansion, sleeping in a random cave. ...of what it meant to be Dragonborn. Was it the right thing to do to slay these foul beasts? Of course it did was. Did they have as much right to live as he did? No, they didn't have any rights. Uh, a dragon tried to pwn me. I remember it well. My Talos, it's true! A dragon! Couldn't believe the horrible reality of the truth, the hideous truth behind it all. I don't remember running off though, this bit they've made up. That's not me in that outfit there. This didn't happen. No. Hrothgar, son of Bothbar, descendant of Edgar, left the If I ran up, it was because I wasn't quite ready for it. I didn't charge the Dragonborn powers to the fullest. Don't kill me! Leave me alone, foul beast! By the gods, leave me alone! Oh my god, a wolf! My voice hadn't even broke, it was a long time ago, this. Now I'd pwn that dragon. No, it can't be. And so it was that Hrothgar, son of Bothvar, descendant of Edgar, brother-in-law of Einar, second They didn't of think Hrothgar, I was going to come back to life. This was meant to be the first and only video of the Hrothgar adventure. But I came back thanks to popular YouTube viewage. And this is a hell of a long time ago. Maybe five. Five years ago, maybe. It's all screaming back to me. The cunning There's Morgasm the Powerful, the powerful Reverend Hideousness. Energies to rise the cowardly warrior back from the dead. Rise oh. from your grave. Never give up. How that would haunt me forever. Where am I? What is the meaning of this? Who the hell are you? To tend to Can you believe the basicness of the graphics before the EMBs and the textures, texture mods? Can you believe it? 
So yeah, I was over at Winterhold and that dragon picked a fight with the wrong guy. I took the sword of honor and I clapped that dragon's head clean off. <laughs> didn't even accept the money. You gotta tell women lies to get them into bed. Women say be yourself, but it's bullshit. They don't want you to be yourself. They want you to make up a host of lies. Hey, don't you know any of the songs? That's bad. How about Frothgar, the Dragonborn hero? What about Hit Me, Baby, One More Time? Don't you know how it goes? Look, I'll show you. It's a... The Dragonborn power is unleashed. I didn't mean it. I just sneezed. I'm Dragonborn. Look, I'll unfreeze you with the flaming spell of truth. Flame on. I'll unfreeze you too. Flame on again. Such magical powers. Oh, God, man, it was an accident. You don't want a piece of this. They were afraid of the magic. You got it. Flame on. A racist town afraid of a dragonborn with new magic powers. They didn't know how to control me. They were afraid of us, like the mutants in X-Men. They were afraid of my mutated powers. You fucking animals. To a dragonborn hero. And so it was that Throthgar, son of Bothwar, descendant of Edgar, was alive less than five hours before succumbing to his own ineptitude and cowardice once again. Well, that's bullshit. But Morgasm the Powerful had yet more plans for our fated hero, and his journey was far from over yet. He's never had any plans for me, just gave me the ability to come back to life, and that was the end of it. Oh god, there was a part three. I believe there were four parts of the first Throthgar Adventures, the Tales from Skyrim, that never really went anywhere after that. Will they come back to popular demand? I doubt it. There it is, and it's un E and B bland, the saturated mess. Morgasm the Powerful once again resurrected the fallen hero. For his Who is this pretentious snob talking over my fucking adventure? Was forced to flee in exile to look for pastures new. Shut up, you snob! The search led him to the great city of Markarth, where he wanted nothing more than uh, a yes. bottle of mead, a comfy bed, and the warmth of a woman. I got arrested there once. Remember that one? This is Markarth, traveler. Safest city in the reach. That's well, a lie. Ah, no. uh, yes, the no. haunted house. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse Look me. at the desaturated you know blandness. Seen anyone enter or leave? So you need help removing some squatters, is that it? I'm that moving, I'm talking without moving my mouth. What Maybe incredible ventriloquist that. dragonborn powers. Follow me, and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Someone's been here, recently. But the people I asked say no one enters or leaves. Fascinating. Why is he surprised Wait, in a, in a land of dragons and fairies that there's ghosts? The fucking hear anything. dickwad. You're being paranoid, man. Just calm down. The way you deal with squatters is to remain calm at all times. Or it's me. It. I was new to Skyrim at the house. time. I didn't. Come I wasn't on. aware of ghouls and ghosts, Just goblins, cool, wizards. Come out. We know you're here. Yeah, come on out, squatter. The game's up. I truly believe there was a squatter in there. Why don't you open it? It's your door. But it was a demonic presence like the Shining trying to overwhelm my brain. Hey man, wait up! Don't leave me alone down here! Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him! He knew I was strong. He sensed the, the abilities. What's going on in this house? Bones tear at his flesh. Mother, is that you? Trying to overwhelm that guy, but he overwhelmed my mind. Or you will die. And I kill yes, a good man. I must kill. I must yeah, obey. Well, he's a king to the sword of honor's great power. Yes. Further into the bowels. Yes. Further into the bowels. <laughs> was that Johnny Ghoul? I Does bet it was. It feels great being in my bowels. It feels great being in your Bowels. You're an idiot, aren't you? And a coward. I am an idiot. No, I'm not. I didn't mean that. He was controlling my brain. Bowels don't you. I like going in. I don't like being in someone's bowels. That's a lie, too. Your prize is waiting for you, Mort. Uh oh. Manipulated by a demon, Jack fucking Torrance from The Shining style. Poning good people. No wonder Skyrim hates me. Must act like a generic, run-of-the-mill psycho. Some kind of mind control. Let's fight it. Oh, wait. The mind control powers wore off, but it was too late. Stop my attacks. Don't fight back. Run away. 
The guards weren't falling for it, they just thought I was a psychotic fucker. Johnny, go laughing at me. Fuck your mother. After being incinerated by a dragon, felled by an angry bar, and possessed by an evil demon, Swathgar, son of Bothbar, would rise again and never give up. Ultimately, discover what Morgas and the Powerful's intentions for him truly were. I never discovered that and there was no point behind it all. Once upon a time in the ancient lands of Skyrim, oh, we got a new intro. Existed the great dragonborn warrior, Hrothgar, son of Bothbar, descendant of Edgar, brother-in-law of Einar, second cousin of Falkmar, the slayer of Gul'dan. Protected See, we hadn't still discovered the cunning FOV necromancer, at this point. Morgasm the Powerful, this is one of his stories. Look at the beauty of Skyrim and its bland, desaturated hideousness. Before we discovered the true power of mods and what they could do and deliver. Hey man, what is with Skyrim women? They just don't seem interested in a real man. A man of moral courage, a man of decency, a dragonborn hero, like me. But when I had women problems, thank God I don't have any now. The bug eyes, you can't take her eyes off me. It's a lizard. I would never go for a yeah, lizard. I must have been drunk on so mead me out. and Recognize power. the dragonborn legend, Throthgarson of Bothvar, huh? You're real ugly, but you intrigue me. Hey, when you're hard up, though, you're hard up, you know what I mean? That's pretty. Who hasn't shagged some fat mango when they've been a bit desperate? We'll be together as husband and wife forever and always. <laughs> I only asked for a date, but what the hell, let's do it. I must have been so drunk, I don't remember this. Honest. And I was drunk the day of the wedding, too. Hey, what kind of weather is this for a wedding? Talking about that without moving my mouth again, such power. There's a million ladies killing themselves right now as Hrothgar is officially off the market. How do they let this sham of a wedding go through? When people are that drunk, you shouldn't let him get married. Ceremony. We are gathered here today to share in the love and the honor between two glorious people who, as a complete unit, have found each other in the sea of chaos. This is a sham. These two found that love. We all hope to find as we search. Couldn't they see the this wasn't meant to be? She's not even got a wedding dress on. That we all know to be love. What is love? As we search. Our minds for answers. Oh man, get on with it. Very well. So do you, Trothgar, son of Bothgar. This guy didn't even know how to say my name. This whole thing was a sham and a lie. I do. And do you, Grectoid, cunning lizard woman. What a beautiful from the black name. Swamps of Leptile, take Trothgar, son of Bothgar, descendant of Egar, brother in law of Einar, to be your lawful wedded husband. I do. Now and forever. Then the ceremony is complete. I now pronounce you man and lizard. Me your love is sin. A man and a lizard should never be married in any religion, law, or Skyrim. It's not allowed. I'm going. What happened to kiss the bride? What the hell is this? What was wrong with that when I kissed that creature? The human know with his destiny, his part in the ancient lizard sacrifice that now must take place. Or did you leave that bit out? No, she didn't tell me that bit. I was drunk anyway. Look at that house, it's garbage, it's got a oh, window. My dear bride, what true wonders are you concocting for our first meal to celebrate our union? It smells truly wondrous. The first house in Skyrim is just garbage, till you get well, some real dragonborn money. Place. Put it in a cave, though. This meal will help you taste much better. And oh. after our love making, your blubber will help our children grow big and strong. You must know, it is custom for the female lizard to eat the male after the first act of coitus. What? Hey, wife or no wife? I didn't know that, and she got what she deserved. Person of Bothvar, that meal isn't on any menu. For that insult, you will now face the fist of righteousness. Get her, Thrustgar. No! How could I be pwned that way? I was real drunk, it must have been. She drugged me. Once again, the whole thing was mind control magic. Found himself the victim of one of the many hazards of Skyrim. Go to depress yourself. Look back on early videos of your life. See the inept video making skills and the inept voice acting, you'll hate it. Oh my god, a wolf! Sven! Sven! Sven, do something, Sven! Yeah, we got him. A ghost! I'm sorry. A ghost, Sven, a ghost! Sven, do something, a subjugated ghost! 
Kill him, man! Kill him! This isn't what I want. Don't listen to him, Sven. It is what he wants. I don't have any choice. He does have a choice. I'm sorry. He's not sorry. Disgrace to your own kind. Damn it, do I have to do everything, man? I don't want we to do got this. him. Those stalwart patrons, in order of donation amount, but all winners. <laughs>